Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I've made an executive decision. If I'm gonna build up enough uh, cards in my card pool to uh, start brewing decks and playing, especially on the current meta, how many more cards? I gotta. You can get so many from doing this stuff, but I think it's just time to drop some card. Just drop the gems and play. I, the gems are not sacred. Uh, I think that this sealed, I keep looking at it, it's a good value. So given that you're going to get nine packs of cards, which is awesome. And uh, for, so it's 2,000, but you immediately get 200 gems back and potentially you're going to get more. So the 200 gems you get back makes us 1,800 gems. I've got 3,600, which just happens to be the perfect number for two drafts. And then... If I was to able to get a thousand and a thousand, let's see what that. So if I can get three wins from each draft, I can draft again, and so that could be three drafts for my thirty six hundred gems. And if you go to the store, and I was just to purchase packs right now, uh, for my three thousand, I can only get fifteen packs. So I'm already looking at uh, nine and nine. Is 18 packs from the 3600 which is the exact value because because we got the 3000 here and the six here 18 packs so 18 total plus if I can get any wins at all that's a gem discount and if I can get three wins in each or what's the what's the run up to 2000 on just one run yeah it's six wins so if I can get three wins in each or six wins on either um, I can reload and get nine more packs. So it's a lot of packs for the value plus the play. Um, I like to build working on my limited skills here. Um, last time I ran that Selesnya deck, which maybe I should have ran Golgari. I don't know. I got, I went, I think I went three. No, I went five and three on that run, which wasn't bad. Cause I think I was down to, no, I only got 1200, I think. Actually, I can't remember what I got. I did pretty good. I did a pretty good run. I did not win at all. I got a six and three. It's in. It, there's a video of it. So, um, I think that actually I've been saying, oh, gems are sacred. Gems are sacred. I think it's time. This is the kind of event where it's good to use the gems, and then potentially I can go and play in the drafts where I can convert gold that I grind into more gems to play better events like this. This is going to get a lot of cards. So I want to brew. I want to be able to create videos where I'm making some decks for you guys. And as I went and made the night deck video, I realized that it, I just don't have the card pool. I don't have the card pool at all. And I'm really liking is it right now. So um, I would love to make the is it no burn deck. The, the counter burn oh, it looks, you know, build a version of it. I think that would be super fun. All right, let's see what we got here. So I got two beast whisperers. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. I think that that is super good and limited. So already I'm so strong in green. Sacred Frowny, great card. I would spend, uh, I do want to make a Boros deck eventually. I would spend a wild card on that. So that's a great pickup for my collection in general. Uh, Chromatic Lantern, lands you control have add one mana of any color wow what a great mana fixer that's probably gonna go into what every edh deck um that's that's really cool wow that is such a cool card and then chamber sentry chamber sentry enters the battlefield with a plus one plus for each uh, color spent on it. Oh wow, this is the old sunburst. This is like the sunburst mechanic. And you can return them to your hand from the graveyard. Uh, remove it. Wow, what a nice little filter. I like that a lot. Wow, that's cool. Okay, and then we have a Demir Mask. The Unmoored Ego. Choose a card name. Search target opponents. Hand, graveyard hand and library for up to four copies of that see this is going to be a really hard card to pull off in limited so i'm already so strong in green in the two the two green rares some great card draw um but yeah this is a this is a 
F this card sees play, it's going to be standard because if I were playing uh, again, if I was playing best two of three, maybe this would be a great board to, card to sideboard. And if I see somebody play four copies of a or you know, even two or three copies of bombs, but right now my pool is already weak. I need a good pool pool of cards if I'm going to. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be tough. This is all I got for green cards. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I only got the one for the Golgari, but look at look at all that Slesnia. Wow. Lots of uncommons too, so that's cool. Yeah, opened up some gates as well. Yeah, some convoking. Okay, I might be a sucker for this Selesnia creature reach. These guys are cool. Um, a worm. I don't like the four toughness on this worm, but it can be... Oh, man. A Golgari locket. Mm, one, one trickish. Alright, let's see what else we got. What kind of black cards did we get? Flying Imp. Let me, um, while, while I'm deck building here, let me move my head out of the way so that y'all can see the cards a little bit better. Alright, I think that'll be good. Now you can see all the cards and the number of cards I have. Okay. So, we got like three Demure card, Demure cards. One, four, five, horror for five. Uh, dead weight. Okay, that could be removal of little small guys. Uh, death touch. Got to They got to deal with that or play around it. You can get rid of something big. Uh, negative one, negative one, surveil two. Not, not looking very strong in the black either. Wow, all right. So uh, let's just do the white. So uh, righteous blow. We got this guy with the mentoring. Uh, more creatures. This goes for the convoke. Uh, we did get us. Uh, we did get a Slesnia guy right here. Uh, Sky Patrol. This guy's such a beast. You need. A, I would have loved to have a couple more of him. Uh, Loxodon Restorer. What's this guy? The Pack Beast Vigilance. When he enters the battlefield, tap up to two target creatures. Okay, that is tricky. I like that. Two of those. Uh, not feeling really feeling good about two of those. Uh, this is cool. I mean, I'm I'm working with what I got here. Cool is a very relative term right now. Uh, oh, there we go. We got some is it cards. Wow. Okay, let me take a look here at the blue and then the red and then the blue and the red. Three devious cover ups, three counter spells, but it cost four. Uh, exile it instead, that's good. Oh, four cards from my graveyard in. I like that. Okay, so Dazzling Lights, uh, the Sorcery, Flying, yeah, no. The Phantasm, he's Defender. Whenever uh, you surveil, okay, so he's playing with the demur tactics. And then we got the Sphinx that's rocking that as well. Although a 5 4 of flyer is always nice. For 6, well, okay, so it's not always nice. It's not nice when it's 6. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. Okay. Draw a card. A <laughs> radical idea. I like that art. That's cool. Guild Summit. Okay. Don't know what. I have one is it guild gate. That kills that. Okay, these guys are pretty dang cool. Sure. Uh the beacon. I need to fill up my graveyard for that. Guild majors are always awesome. Always awesome. 
Uh, yeah. Two, two for two when you got the right mana out. It's nice. All right, let's see what the red I got was. So, two creatures, a wall, one ornery uh, or, 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 goblin. Did I, I didn't get any of the really good goblins that I like. Some Boros, some Boros stuff here. Three Boros cards, not counting the locket, of course. Because who gives a crap about the locket? I got the, I do got the Foundry and the Gate. I mean, is it just me or does Slesnia just look? It just looks right right now, right? One Guild Mage for that. I'm guessing that that's pretty much what. Wow, three of these boars. Okay. Haste, trample. One of those. Plus two, plus two. Can't block. Fair enough. D. I like the crater makers. All right, this is some removal. A very expensive removal. Very expensive removal. Yeah, and this is just bananas. This is just bananas. So, how many of this? Yeah, look at all these Selesnya cards. Um, this is pretty much a no-brainer, especially with that green rare I got. Okay, we're definitely going to start in green, and we're going to start with those guys. Yeah. Okay, what else do we got? Enters the battlefield, draw a card. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, we need the big buff guy. And then, uh, so we're in, let's do white. Let's do, so. What kind of one drops do we have? None, but we've got this guy's a two drop. And this guy's a two drop. Um, that could work. Okay, we definitely want this guy. Definitely gonna want to do a trick or two. This might be our only trick. I mean, are we just gonna go? To... We're probably gonna buff out a guy with that. Let's see what we got here. More creatures. Let's go from. Play both those gates. Yep. Yeah. So if I'm only rocking two colors, this guy's just going to be a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, and then I could sack him to do two damage. So, I mean, he's always going to be good, right? Yeah, he's got it going. He's pretty good. I see. I see now what, what he is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that guy can be huge. This guy's amazing. Um, Vigilance four four. What? Uh, pff, wow. Yeah. Hello. Uh, what does this one do? Two one. I don't like the cost. Two one four four. But when he enter, when he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You reveal a creature or enchantment card from him and put them in your hand. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that one for sure. So expensive. Uh, convoke. We're definitely rocking the convoke. I mean, I guess we just take all of those because they're just good. The curve is a little funky. Six more cards. Yes. I like the trick on that guy. I like the convoke on this guy. I like the I like the sink on that guy, and to help the lower end of our curve. Um, when he enters the battlefield, Popos on target creature. Yes, of course. Okay, nineteen creatures and four spells, and 
one of my spells creates creatures, so. <sighs> okay, I like that one. I like the draw. Gonna need some beefy dudes, so. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Undergrowth. When this when it enters the battlefield, target creature gains plus X plus X. Yeah. Yeah. I like what that's doing. Okay, this 3-4 four with 4 life. For, see, I think we can let go of this guy. I'd rather have him for the Convoke and Vigilance. Well, because the 4 power that he's bringing. So, what others? I mean, we basically have to take everything. Do I want to get another enchantment out there? Like a two for one the enchantment. Um, do I want to bring out the one four with reach? People bring a lot of flyers, and I don't have any removal. So I actually feel like the reachers are important. Almost more important than that. Because I'm rocking one. Yeah, and then truth of the pack piece, I like his two for one -ing. He can get some stuff done. I feel like there's some like built-in tricks with a lot of the things I'm rocking. So I want another one of these, but I don't know. Is there a two drop I want to get? Would I rather have this two two with the sink or have the other one for reach guy I think I'm gonna go for the reach so I don't the flyers don't come in to bug me all right let's try that let's see how well we do the first game maybe we'll get our butts kicked and maybe you know I'll see what some people are playing not really gonna sideboard much in this one because it's one ofs At, um, my M19, well, wow, oh, I don't like this, at my M19 pre-release event, what had happened for me was, um, I had so many good cards that I was able to do three colors, three full colors, and so I was doing a two color deck. And what had happened was I um I sideboarded out one of my entire colors for another to play around what the other person was playing. It was pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, he's going to cast so much burn for so cheap. Wow, that's really, really good. He's going to blow up my Beast Whisperer, that's for sure. It's too good. It's too good to let it stand. Okay. I 
gotta get nuts drawing cards. Let's keep that card drawing going. Hmm. All right, now we gotta get the flyer out. The Trampler. Okay. see what's going on here and now I see it Stupid frog. Okay, I don't know why he's particularly targeting that creature. I guess because I can sink the pump into it. But sure. the right order here. Oh, there was mentor. I should have mentored. I keep forgetting to do that. I keep forgetting to do the mentor thing. Gotta keep up my card draw. take out of something. Nineteen cards left. Whew, that's a nice nice amount of cards. Next turn you're gonna be swinging with some good stuff. What is this one? All right, good victory. We swamped the Izzet deck with creatures. I just got to keep those creatures coming out. I mean, a lot about limited is is sustain. Walk the plank. Is there a search for a skunt in there? <laughs> That's another mythic I just need to get. All right, so now 
even with my plan my game plan now I'm gonna have 200 extra gems after the one the gem plan I have in place so let's see if we can just roll it I mean I really want to impress you guys I want to throw out a 7-0 a 7-0 run I'd love to um, yeah when you can deliver those it's pretty cool okay I don't think we're gonna get there with this hand this is this is tough this is where it gets really tough and look I got a lot of expensive cards so I just don't think this deck can mulligan down to to five so yeah I want that beast so why I put him on the bottom because that's not a good place for him is that he we need to get the second one after I draw I already draw a bunch of land that guy is super annoying Double strike, blah, 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 vigilance, trample, yeah, we're gonna just pop him, shoot him, I don't even want to take one damage from him, yeah, 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 that guy's annoying too, I know, they're all annoying, well, the key now is, I would love to get another, another, uh, Planes. Planes would be key. Especially with that. Alright. Oh, each player gains three life. Wow, that card is not as good as I thought it was going to be. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't even block the honoring goblin with him because he's going to get take too much to the face. This deck, man. I talked about going 7 0. And, you know, this dust brings on the run of tough, tough beats. Really? I would have saved that, but. He's going for speed. I mean, that is Boros's speed. Oh, that just hurts. That just hurts he's got plenty of mana he's doing he's doing everything right uh, I think I have to block here yeah we'll just block that thing hopefully he'll run out of gas that's all I can really hope for. I think I dropped my Cavalier this turn. Oh my gosh, that is not running out of gas. Oh my gosh. That is not running out of gas. That is not how this is supposed to work. not how this is supposed to work I'm taking it all over the face on this one yeah this is tough Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I can't keep letting that guy mentor. Yep. Not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. Oh my gosh. 
Yep, and that's game. Man, he had gas. Never let up. And uh, I had it real bad in the in my draw. My poor draw. I feel like my deck could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with his, though. Had I not got stuck on those land issues. We shall see. See how the rest of these matches go. Now, I really doubt with the number of players that you'll meet the same player again, but I wouldn't mind fighting him. But yeah, I need to get to three wins on this one, and I need to get three wins on the next one, and then we, we're back in business for getting a lot of packs, a lot of value. If each pack is 200 gems, then. Um, you know, I just got a bonus pack. So that's something. And with any, uh, if I just end up with gems and bonus packs, well, I'll probably save the gems because if I can get more than it's to play in another event. Oh, oh God. This is pretty painful. This is pretty painful. Well, at least he did not play a first turn card. That's all I could say about that. The longer he waits to play a card. Oh, and there it is. One, three for two. You gotta be kidding. Oh, man. Oh, man. Any land will give me my Beast Whisper, which would be great, but all my creatures require white. Uh, I had Defender, that's fine. Oh, actually, that's not fine. <laughs> he can't kill me with that thing. Oh, that's so annoying. Wow. I should have mold. I should have mold. <laughs> then I mold to something worse. It's like I opened my mouth and now it's just devastating. This is horrible. Now, are they bad plays? Or, yeah. Wow. Wow, guilt lead. I like that. I like that. I like the multicolored. Okay, I'm online for this. This. Yeah, we'll see what I draw next turn. He's got the sink. Yep. Mentoring is happening. Stupid, stupid mentoring. I am finally alive. Well, let's see what happens here. I don't know what I'm going to want to do though. Sworn Companions gets me to draw two cards. I kind of like that. Mentoring's over for now. So maybe he's just going to draw up a buff creature and pass the turn. Might as well just swing with everything. He's got the dissident can buff. He can buff the dissident. That's always painful. 
Okay, I think he has a guild gate out. Yep. Wow. Don't know why he played that first. Alright, I appreciate that. Okay. Two one one life linkers. I mean that is something. How many cards are in my hand? So seven. Alright, let's do this. Whenever you cast a creature spell. Whoops. Whoops. That was horrible. Man, that was bad. No attackers. Alright, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens here. I might do some chump blocking. opponent fair enough all right creatures you control gain first trick and vigilance until end of turn after this main phase there's an additional combat followed by an additional main phase wow wow this is stupid so they have first trick so let's go into the block mode so we're going to block that, it's fine on the first strike. We're going to block this guy, and then we're going to block this guy. Actually, but they will both die to the first strike. So we'll take those, we'll go here. Uh, two blockers and then we'll deal this to this guy and then we will do this this and tap him oh wait that did not work out the way I really wanted it to. Does this guy have double strike? That's right. That's right. Yikes, that was rough. Oh man. Let's see if I can survive this. We got I think that's it then. There's not really anything I can do.
needs to do is oh. pretty good. It's gonna get two damage in. had it bad twice there's that mentor that white mentor flyer is just so damn good let's see if there's an, another color I should be going into in my deck maybe I should be doing three colors um, let's just look at black what my Golgari card is death touch of intelligent turn now I need cheap cheap stuff you know, I'm not going to be able to reliably cast the cheap stuff. So I don't want to go into that. Thing's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling it with this. I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not seeing it, but... To me, it's just missing the drops, early drops. My pools, you know, I got a lot of early drops. So let's shut that down. I don't got a lot of cheap cards. What are my one drops looking like? One creature, a defender. That's a great card. Okay, I mean, looks like black and blue have a better curve, actually. Maybe. What's the rest of this look like? Radical idea. One of the creatures I'm going to end up with. Not a lot of not a lot of good top end stuff. Yeah. Couple flyers. Some removal. Death touch hexproof. I still don't think this is very playable. I don't know how this plays out either. Like, how do you choose a name in this? I guess for, I would definitely go for a white. I would pull out this guy. Patrol. Yeah. Uh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. I just don't see it with this. I don't see surveil being a very good limited because what's taking advantage of what's really taking advantage of your graveyard flying death touch hex proof I do love the sound of that I like this removal but it's for four yeah, I don't know. Is there something red splashable? Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. What are my three drops? Yeah, I want some of the early early stuff, but yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, and I'm not going to be getting a bunch of red sources here, so. It's going to be hard to cast. It's stupid, but I'm here to get stupid, I guess. I don't know how I feel about this peacemaker. It's a 3 3 body for 3, so it's actually really good. I mean, I get 4 life, he gets 4 life. So. I like the way that plays out. Alright. I'm feeling like I've changed my ways a little bit. Let's go for some gems. Because this is brutal. I can't believe I'm, I'm on the line already. I'm on the line. About to get eliminated. Savagery. I have no green mana and I need three green. Foundry's nice. Being able to play this guy in turn two is going to be nice, but after turn two, I need a lot of stuff. Oh, I hate everything right now. Oh wow, okay, that's that's what I needed. Can drop the guild mage next. And here I thought he'd be dropping the guild mage. Dropping the guild mage. Okay, my curve is pretty good right now actually he's doing really well as well no blocks not if my guy's gonna pay off for me down the line come here straight kitty Taking it to the face. Yeah, that guy looks familiar. Alright, we're giving the B 
Beast Whisperer out there. No attacks. Haste and Mentor. That guy is savage. Yeah, whoever he's going to mentor is going to suck. Really? Okay. It is what it is. Is what it is. All right. So, uh, I'm going to try to stall this game out now. Okay, well, let's be smart here. Oh wow, get a little bit of everything. Bottom in any order. Flying haste. I don't want him to be able to two for one on my guys, so. I think the flying haste guy is gonna be the jam. And he's gonna have to take care of that guy. All right. When he enters the battlefield, target creature gains vigilance and gets plus X plus X. This is the number of creature cards in your hand. Vigilance this whole time. Wow, I'm terrible. I should have been swinging with him every time. That's so bad. Come on, I gotta get them gems. So, if he doesn't. Okay, yeah, alright, that's huge. I think this is the right move for the beast. Alright, combat. So let's send this guy in, this guy in, and this guy in. So. It's not quite lethal, but.
he's got a guild gate, so double strike is, is good. Okay, I did that terribly. That was terrible. Oops. Okay, so. Double striker's gonna take out my guy. Oh, he's got. He's not got haste, so let's go to combat. So I'm gonna attack with him, with him, with him, with him, and with him. So he blocks there. I think this is the right move. This double striker takes out my big dude. He's gonna chump the four, take the two, so it's gonna take that. If I can get him down to. Oh, I should have hit with the cat, taking him down to. Two life, and then I just swing with the Legionnaire next turn. That's what it should have been. Yeah, or the cat would have been lethal this turn. Son of a B. Well, never mind. We got through. Ooh, a lot of gems. All right. I, li I like this red. <laughs> Should have done tricolor the whole time. Come on. One more win. Racking up some gold here in the background. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm up to 600 gems. Oh yeah, so I needed to get the one win no matter what because I need to get 400 gems just to do that and then I would end up with a 200 back after it all. So yeah, so now I'll end up with, I'll pay, I'll end up with 400 at the end because I'll get, I'll have 200 over and then I'll get the 200 discount when I lose, well, with at least the one win from or this zero win payout if, if I was to get zero wins next time. But this is the key. One more win. I mean, I really feel like I'm on the ropes here. But one more win here. And then if I can do the roll again next time and get three wins, then I can... Actually, no. I think I need to get the four because even though the math works out, I won't have the full 2000 to do it a third time i don't know we're gonna have to see i can't keep a one land hand okay this is more plausible he's he's playable so we're gonna keep him because we're gonna get a playable card and then hopefully after in the next three turn well in the next turn we draw a land and we can be on tempo they miss some kind of drop what does he do whenever you surveil for the first time to each opponent you gain a life wow okay so i can't really do anything with this guy so stray cat next turn which will be cool Jumpstart draw card, yeah. It's like a cycling thing. Oh yeah, we're getting the we're getting the beast whisperer out there now. No attacker. Next turn we might be able to get some damage in. 
Yep. Instant. He's not using those at instant speed. So I don't know what he's digging for. Might just use another one now. I mean, you're going to be out of mana. I would wait. But I don't know what he's got going on. So. Yeah, wow, he is digging through his deck. So hopefully he's in a much worse position than me. Let's draw two cards and see what we get here. Get our land out. Then uh, let's convoke this guy. Green and a white and a one and a two and a three. Yeah, I like that. All right, now next turn we're swinging for something. Next turn we're swinging. Oh, maybe he was digging for that red mana. Wow. Flying trample. I don't know if I have anything for him. I think I just lose now. So, yeah, that trample is no good. So, let's start drawing some cards here. Keep drawing cards. Combat. And no attackers. turn all right he's got he's got his little engine going I'm sure this is what he wants to do So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my Chamber Sentry and my Iron Shell out. And then hopefully my Sky Knight will live. So he's going to swing in. I'm going to swing with everything. And then we can kind of go from there. Is he going to jump start? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. No, he's, not put, he's not putting a lot into his trash. But he's getting defenders out there so that he can swing and block. Which, yeah, that's good. It's pretty good. It's got trample, no blockers. Why is everything taking him so long? It's like, come on, dude. Let's do this first. That's something. Then we can give him 
so that juice. Make him kind of buff. Oh, why didn't I attack? He's vigilant. Why didn't I not attack with him? Wow. It's like that's the kind of stuff where I deserve to lose. That is so bad. He's vigilant. Oh, cool. All right. I'm not the worst player ever. This guy's vigilant as well. So I like that. And he's vigilant. And the vigilance guys make me so that I can attack with everything. Let's keep that guy back. He's just going to get blocked and he's just going to get blocked. Well, he's going to get blocked and then he's going to get blocked. So this is going to get one extra damage through. So six. Yeah, especially him gaining life. Let's do that. I like that play. Yep. Get my one extra damage through. Got rid of one of the guys on his board. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so please don't have any removal for my guy. If he, if he removes the Sky Knight, it's over. He's paid a lot of life, but he also plinks me and gains one back, so it's a discount. I think Whispering Snitch is a, is a discount. Gain one life, yeah. It's a nice little discount. Yep, jump start. Fair enough. Yep. He's just going to keep plinking me. Get my little sworn swords out there. I think the chamber sentry is a good, good, just a good thing to get out there in general for me next. Yeah, had to happen. I don't think I can live long enough now. Yeah. So I gotta block this just so I don't eat all six damage. this guy I see what I draw the 
Boro skill B is not going to do much for me. And then how much can I get through? Four? Four is all I'm going to get through. It's better than nothing. To any target. To any target. How much does this do? Beacon. To target creature equal to so five. So you can do five damage with the jump start. Yeah, that's a lot. I think he needs to do it to the sentry. Oh no. Oh yeah, one to me. And he kills that. And then yeah. Duh. <laughs> I didn't even see that. That's so funny. Oh well. Bummer. Alright, well let's open up my three packs and see what I got. Man, that is so frustrating. Claim my prizes. Let's go open up my packs. I don't feel like I got a lot of the cards that I really wanted. Let's start building up my is it deck. Another Goblin War boss. Maybe we're uh, building up to make a goblin deck. Maybe. Oh, wow. Risk Factor. That is one of the huge cards for the deck. Yes. Awesome. I like that card. Mm, yeah. That's cool. Huge value there. Guild Gate. That's not for it. I don't think I'm putting that guy in there. Dream Eater, Mythic, Flash, Flying, Surveil 4. Wow. Nice to open up a Mythic, but not a card I want or care about at all. So, let's see what time it is. Oh, all right, it's midnight already. So, I'll wrap it up here for that. Uh, gonna go ahead and play another one of those, just because that certainly does add a lot of... Um, cards to the card pool so be nice to get blue or black spells so that'll be all for this video i'm gonna do another one where i play another one of these sealed guilds of ravnica these are fun nine packs for 2000 gems it's right on the money um because it ends up being 1800 gems because you get two back so they dialed that in just right and then the potential, everything after that's going to be gravy. So um, I'll ha end up with 400 gems. But if I can get to, uh, I'm going to have to get six wins. Or I'm not going to be able to play another one without spending money. And I'm not going to spend money. So even if I get 1,600 gems uh, with five wins, I won't get to play a third one. And I was really hoping to do three plays out. But then I'll hold on, I'll hold on to my gems and we'll do another sick event in the future so hopefully this wasn't in the way of any good information so that's all for this one thanks for checking it out please subscribe share and uh yeah i want to keep making videos thanks guys